Okay, hey, hello. How are you artists and art appreciators? <laughs> Welcome to my video. If this is our first encounter, my name is Onichi and I am an independent author illustrator. That means I write and draw my own characters and stories and no big company pays me to do it. Yay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Today I wanted to discuss something I brought up in my channel intro video and that something is why I don't draw much. First, let me begin by telling you what happened recently. Right before Christmas, I decided to make drawing part of my morning routine. I had seen something similar in a TikTok video and thought this could work for me because I'm a morning person. Each morning, I pulled out my sketchbook and a pencil and drew for a little bit before I went to work. I began each session with blind contour drawings. Then I do a free draw. Since I wanted to get better at drawing couples, I decided that I would use the free draw to practice drawing couple poses. To make it more fun, I drew my original characters, my OCs in those poses. After each drawing session, I appreciated the sketches I liked, if I had any. But more often than not, I left the sessions frustrated because I didn't like what I had drawn. The drawings most times didn't look as good as I thought they should, yet I persevered. That is until 2024 rolled in. On January 5th, and I know this date because I dated each session, I wanted to draw this pose. I really liked it and I wanted to see Levi and Pippa, my OCs, in that pose. I did okay with the head, then the torso, then things began to go downhill real quick. I thought Levi's face didn't look right even though it looked fine the first go. So I fixed it and made it worse. Then Pippa's body looked off because I couldn't figure out the perspective. And I just felt bad and I kept erasing and regretting and erasing some more. With each erasure, I was rubbing out my confidence in whatever, in whatever skills I thought I had. After trying to make that drawing look good, but failing miserably, I quit. Then I cried. Okay, I exaggerate. I didn't cry, but I was so upset that I wanted to cry. I felt like a failure as an artist. I tried again to fix that same drawing the following days. Though it did improve, it still did not meet the standard I wanted. It was then that I decided to be done with that drawing. I knew going back to it would not be healthy or helpful at all. The next session, I tried to redraw that same pose, but on a new page. However, I was immediately draped with anxiety looking at that blank sheet. I gave up before I even started. As a matter of fact, I quit the free draw entirely. From January 5th up to January 22nd, there were no new free draw sketches in my sketchbook. All I had were blind contours. So there you have it. I don't draw much because sometimes I get this fear of screwing up my drawing, of not meeting my own high standards that it discourages me from drawing at all. So I'd rather not draw at all than feel like a failure. Rewinding back to feeling anxious when looking at that blank sheet. When I felt that anxiety, I didn't have a single thought. Or maybe I did, but it moved across my mind so fast that I couldn't grasp it. All I know is that I had a physical feeling. I literally felt weighed down. That weight was an amalgamation of thoughts like, I'm not good enough to draw this, I suck, why can't I draw right, 
I've been drawing for 10 years, but I'm still shit. I'm never going to improve and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't until after that anxiety had passed that I could figure out what was going through my mind. I think, I'm not certain, but I think I feel this way because I have a high value for my artistic ability. So much so that when my ego feels compromised, I would rather give up or not try at all than allow myself to feel lesser than. If you don't draw, you don't mess up. If you don't mess up, you don't have negative self-talk. If you don't have negative self-talk, you don't feel bad. That's the logic. Has anyone else felt like this recently? I know this feeling or something similar is common amongst artists. So think of this as a check-in. In the comments section right now or at the end of the video, tell me if you relate to this feeling or if you don't. But if you have ex experienced this or something similar, did you also feel weighed down? Like, tell me your experience. I know that this may be a little cringe or childish, especially for someone of my age, but it's just how I feel. I know I'm not mature, but I'm maturing or at least I'm trying to. That anxiety has been my biggest obstacle in my art journey. I have allowed it to stop me from practicing anatomy or from drawing any cool idea that came to mind. And I've had many ideas for new drawings that have been abandoned because I didn't think I could do them well. Even though not drawing has been protecting my ego, it has been hurting my growth for years. And I am tired of being in the same place. I would like to finally improve my art. So, how did I overcome this? I have experienced this anxiety when it comes to drawing many times and usually it just goes away after a few weeks or months. Like last year, I stopped drawing in April and returned in July. It helped that I had an art class that month, but I did work on a WIP prior to that class. It was mostly coloring, but that's something, right? This time around, I think a little reassurance helped. I spoke to an art teacher. He's not my teacher because I'm not in school, just the person I know. And I guess getting that reassurance took some pressure off me. On January 23rd, when I completed my blind contour and wanted to do the free draw, I constantly reminded myself that it was okay to make mistakes. And that did help me as well. Yesterday, February 25th, I may have found a way to help prevent or lessen this. I found this new solution in the book Keys to Drawing by Bert Dodson. In the first section of chapter one, the very beginning, he talks about inner dialogue and shares advice to adjust it if yours is critical. Pause and read the section. Now, I'm not going to go into this. After I read it, I thought it would be good to share. I hope his advice helps you. I, for one, am going to give it a try. Anyway, another way to overcome this fear of drawing is, of course, to talk to your therapist or counselor if you have one. I haven't yet, but I will. And if you don't have access to a therapist, maybe take the time to think about it and write in a journal. What are you afraid of? What are you catastrophizing and why? Sometimes getting it out of your mind makes the problem feel smaller. I have thought about it and I feel like that rabbit hole is deep and has a tunnel system. I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not training to be either. So take this advice with a grain of salt. This is a peer-to-peer, -peer, unprofessional, 
unlicensed, unqualified parasocial conversation. Now, if you haven't already, go draw something. Bye.